Hello guys, it's Pap from Pap back at it again and today we are here with actually a deck that I'm uh, showing you for the um, Turbo Dual Grand Prix but in uh, in the truth you can use it on, on the ladder and I think it's a better version that I came up with um, after you know uh, playing a lot with the deck so this is a deck that I already brought to the channel I mean I brought different version of it and this is another one as you may have seen from them you already know I'm talking about shooting star dragon status and in general uh, you say deck so I'm here with them and before jumping right into the deck list guys just a quick reminder if you enjoy the content please leave a like and subscribe I really appreciate it and really helps me a lot let's jump right into it so here with you say food of, of course and his skill that is shooting star road now uh, just really quickly for all who do not remember what it does it's pretty easy you need to play at least eight among junk monsters and synchron tuners uh, to activate this skill and you need to play as well four uh, monsters in your extra deck that need to be junk synchron or stardust Otherwise, this skill won't be activated. So, uh, if you fulfill the requirements, what happens is that you begin the duel with the junk converter in the grave, uh, and also in the turn you manage to summon your status dragon, you get to play from outside your extra deck a formula synchron um, just on the field. So, pretty cool, of course. This means that you can have access to your shooting star dragon without even worrying. So, your. your um, your only deal is to summon your status dragon. So this is the deck list. So of course we've got the triple junk synchron, we've got the triple junk converter, they are the main cards of course of the deck. Then I decided to play this time with double quick draw synchron and double um, mecha phantom beast alliance. So uh, basically the whole deck require um, uh, focuses on um, relies on actually on the normal summon of junk synchron. So if you want to make other plays, you need to rely on something like a special summon of quick draw synchron. And as you may already know, when you uh, special summon quick draw synchron, you need to discard a monster from your hand and this uh, in your ideal combo is your Mecha Phantom Beast Lion. Why? Because this guy, when it's sent to the grave, if it's sent to the grave, so this thing does not miss the timing, what happens is that uh, he, he lets you special summon a token, um, a level 3 token on your field. So 3 plus uh, 5 equals to our big booty Junk Destroyer. Why do we play to Junk Destroyer? Not only because it's a junk monster and helps us uh, fulfill the requirement for the skill, but also because um, it's uh, actually a, a popper. So you, you can just summon in and you pop a card on the field. It can be set, uh, face up, trap, uh, monster, whatever you like it. So um, that's the thing and what we have next. So of course your summon with Junk Synchron will uh, go through the uh, level 5 Synchro Summon and for, this, for level 5 uh, I've chosen Musashi that lets you actually um, uh, recover, recycle some of your monsters in the grave. They have to be uh, machine type monsters so you can just uh, uh, choose your quick draw Synchron or your Mecha, Mecha, Mecha Phantom Beast or Lion as well. And the other one is Amatrix, just, you know, something that can be useful sometimes because he can um, put to defense uh, without targeting uh, uh, all the monsters your opponent controls that have to be, that have been specially summoned. So pretty cool, right? And also because it is a, uh, a machine type monster, you can just recycle it with the Musashi. So, um, except in some situation, you want to go for your junk synchron uh, combo into a, a Namatrix first, and then if you uh, actually manage to pull out another normal sun with another junk synchron in your following turn, you're gonna go into a Musashi just you know to maybe recycle the Amatrix just in case you need it. And what we have next. So, um, this is for the monster, of course, keep in mind, Jack Converter is pretty cool, uh, not only for the fact that I've seen you when uh, it's used as, when it's sent to the grave for a Synchro Summon, you can target the, uh, one of the tuners and Special Summon on the field, so that's how we got from uh, Junk Synchron alone to the Stardust Dragons uh, Summon, but also you can discard it alongside the tuner to add a Synchron Tuner from your deck to your hand, pretty cool. 
Now, um, uh, keep on talking about the searchers, we've got tuning. Only two, because I feel like three were too much. I mean, there were a lot of times where I just began the duel with a couple, with the junk synchron, quick draw synchron, and also a tuning. That was just not needed, in my opinion. So, um, and that's why, you know, I just played two. Uh, then we've got double forbidden lands. Um, basically because we want to protect ourselves from the uh, spell and trap cards so basically why forbidden lands and not and not uh, tuning gum because um, tuning gum is you know when you discard tuning gum to the grave you're gonna you're gonna likely actually discarding tuning gum before synchro summoning so what, uh, what a his mod opponent would do is that he's gonna interrupt your synchro summon so he's gonna target your junk synchron or your junk converter just not to let you sp synchro summon while instead with forbidden lands you can use it your on your synchro summoned monsters or you can use it on your material so while you're trying to synchro summon that's why in this case i preferred lands and on the other side, we've got as the limited two card, I choose uh, World Legacy Clash for two reasons. It can be pretty cool actually if we have some problem with monsters that, you know, uh, have a huge attack, I don't know, maybe, and we can just uh, lower that. But um, this has actually two reasons to be here. The first one is that you can just protect your shooting star dragon, your big boss, whatever, um, whoever he is. Uh, just by banishing it and plus you get to lower the attack uh, and defense of our monster your opponent control You will see in an epic duel against super heavy samurais how this uh, card saved me and uh, Also because if you use your necroid synchro That is a card that lets you synchro summon a monster from your extra deck It has to be a dragon um, a stardust a dragon type monster so you can both summon a Stardust Dragon or your Stardust Chronicle Spark Dragon. What's the bad thing? Of course, if you summon your Stardust Dragon and then use your skill to go directly into a Shooting Star Dragon, uh, you're fine. But if you summon the, the big boy, actually, the problem with Necroid Synchro is that it has its effect negated. So the, the cool thing about uh, Stardust Chronicle Spark Dragon is that it can be unaffected th thanks to its own effect. But because of Necroid Synchro, he loses this effect. So why do we play World Legacy Clash? Because with Legacy Clash, if you use the effect and banish Stardust Chronicle Spark Dragon, then he gets its effect back. That's the thing, that's the spice. Um, and last but not least, we play Battletuned. Because just in case we have to face something incredibly big that cannot be targeted, Saber Dancer or obelisk how do you deal with that battle tuned you use it on your shooting star dragon or on your status chronicle spot dragon you banish your junk synchron and you have a permanent so it's not until the end of the turn you have got a permanent boost of 1300 on your status chronicle on your shooting star dragons and they become insanely huge that's the spice so guys, that was all. The, all the replays that you're seeing are from the uh, Grand Prix tournament. Uh, I had so much fun um, just by role playing as you say, you know. And that's it, guys. Uh, I hope you understand and you know, that all the explanations were clear. Of course, if you have some doubts, just write in comment section down below, and we can jump right into the replays. Here we go against Akiza, shooting Star Rod is here, we've got, of course, as you can see, as I told you guys, this is from Grand Prix event, so we got the uh, speed counter, so uh, first thing to begin with, we, um, I had to go to a junk, into a junk destroyer, actually, I only had my quick draw synchro and my Orion, so I had no choice, but I've got a couple of defense right here, either to boost my monster and to protect him, um, and it turns out it is a... Uh, super heavy as I told you in during the uh, explanation part that actually World Legacy Clash as you can see right here will save me from the RTK why because it's gonna go directly into the stealth ninja and what it's got also it's got the uh, soul shield wall and the soul horn so this thing use the effect to attack directly and it can attack twice so 2600 twice it's more than lethal but in the damage step, boom, World Legacy Clash, and he only deals me 100 damage. We're chilling. 
So, uh, so I, I just saved myself thanks to this, keep in mind that. So then I've got the tuning, looking for the, the Junk Synchron and actually uh, sending to Grave Forbidden Lands. So Junk Synchron and all his stuff is coming. Musashi recycling the Lion and Junk Converter letting me summon the Junk Synchron back to the field. Then of course we've got the Stardust Dragon Summon, uh, Skill is coming and we've got the Formula Synchron out of nowhere and then Shooting Star Dragon. Shooting Star Dragon, um, use its effect, we've got one, we've got two and I guess nothing else if I remember well, yes, nothing else. So, um, Star Spell as Acceleration to get that, that boost, to use the wall to protect himself one, one time and then I attacked why did I attack directly with the Shooting Star Dragon? Because I wanted him to use the effect of Giga Gloves on the Shooting Star Dragon. Why? Because Shooting Star Dragon can just banish itself um, to negate an attack. And in that case, when it's banished, when it comes back, the, you know, the zero attacks is gone. That's why I decided to attack directly with the Shooting Star Dragon. So, then we've got, then he's got the Flutist, pretty cool, then he's got to summon his uh, Giga Gloves once again, so uh, I started to boost myself up again, and I attacked again, and he decided to use, even if my Star Dragon only has 400 attack, he decided to use the Giga Gloves, I guess it was a waste, but anyway, this is what he decided to do, to go into a Shooting Dodgy, and then Shooting Dodgy pops all the cards, and I had to use, to use my Battle Tuner just in case something strange happens. I wanted, to, I wanted my Star Dragon not to be a zero, just not to be a TK. But keep an eye on, what, on what's happening right here. So he can attack all these monsters thanks to his skill, and he's at 3700. Now, what I did, I used the effect of Star Dragon to negate the effect, but the, the attack negation targets, so you can use the Flutist from the grave to negate that, but the Flutist effect destroy, so I can negate it with shooting Star Dragon. So cool, so cool. I actually discovered this thing in this duel. So, uh, he had to attack the, the Junk Destroyer, but in the end phase, my Shooting Star Dragon comes back on the field. And guess what? We've got the um, Quick Draw Synchron, the uh, Mecha Beastle Lion. I decided to go with Quick Draw Synchron and Junk Destroyer to pop the uh, Shit and Dodgy. Uh, so I had the uh, all the field, of course, uh, free. I decided to go through, but it turns out he has a Kite Roid. So. Uh, I didn't use the effect of Star Dragon because I was afraid I had too, uh, just too, not enough uh, uh, tuna monsters. That's why I didn't use the effect. It's just a set monster. Now I use the effect of uh, shooting Star Dragon, and I shouldn't. So my first option was correct. I attacked. He had nothing actually. Uh, let's see if I can uh, if I can recover somehow. I don't think so. Now I can use the um, speed counter to boost myself up. I do not need to use the effect, but he has another Giga Gloves. Are you kidding me? So Giga Gloves saves him uh, saves him up once again. But I have the World, World Legacy Clash just in case anything happens. There you go. Trump tier into Musashi, Musashi recycling the Tuna level two, so he can go into the uh, Ninja. Um, but of course guys keep in mind I can't cage attack so that's how easy it is so now you can put that into defense you can attack um, all the monsters but boom there you go shooting star dragon negating is it the easiest the flutist once again I negated the flutist effects once again so there was no point and in the end phase shooting star dragon comes back again and now there's nothing more you can do so boom, there you go, attacking, and he's got 200 life points left, but he cannot do a thing, so boom, there you go. Second duel, my boys against Primo, let's see what he's got, so um, he's got triple set and the set monster, I guess this is Shiranui, uh, so I've got the quick draw, the junk synchron, and there you go, ballista squad to get rid of my junk synchron, but I've got luckily uh, a tuning for the next turn, so Kamakat, that hits me hard. 
So I draw a junk converter, fortunately. So tuning to add the junk synchron, I send to the grave the quick draw synchron. Then I summon the junk synchron. Then I need to reach enough a speed counter. Then I use the speed counter to normal summon the junk converter. And boom, we've got the combo out. Musashi is cycling the quick draw synchron. And then junk converter is a fact. So let me synchro summon a level 8. There you go. Junk destroyer to pop that. And. Uh, activating response on my junk destroyer now look at this we've got the necroid synchro to summon the stardust dragon and we do not care that this its effect negated because we're gonna use it for the synchro summon thanks to the skill of shooting star dragon there you go shooting star dragons can use the effect to see how many attacks can he perform one two and we're done we have one but of course thanks to the game I lost Look at this, because of connection, I won, he had nothing, <laughs> but he but That's Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links, we still got these connection problems, of course. So this time against um, official uh, Drudge, so it's me to begin, I guess, with the Mecha Mistral Lion, I got nothing, so uh, he's a, he has a Neos Fusion, and let's see what he's got next, so popping my Lion, that let me special summon a token, uh, so right now the Necro uh, Synchro is actually useless, we got the lens, I don't know if it can be useful right now. So another Junk Converter, so I just had to wait, he sets a monster and then he pops the, the, the token, we're fine. I guess he, does not play, he only plays one Neos because he has a Neos Fusion on, uh, on, in his hand but he didn't use it. So there you go, now is the Speed Counter to add the Junk Synchro and I can begin my combo, but he uses Regeki Break and that's what I told you guys Forbidden Lands can protect even my materials instead of tuning them so I could go into Musashi, Musashi recycle the Lion and then Junk Converter let me special summon the Junk Synchron back to the field so we've got the um, level 8 Junk Destroyer why? because we're gonna summon the uh, Stardust Dragon with Necroid Synchro I popped the set monster so Stardust Dragon is here and um, shooting star road to go into a shooting star dragon there you go that's how beautiful it is and then shooting star dragon's effect i got one and if i'm not wrong only one no maybe two yes two if i got three i i, I had won the duel uh, but it was only one so popping start to attacking first news fusion then second news fusion that he discarded with the regeki break and then third attack and news is dead so let's see what he's got, he's got reinforcement to add a level cannon, but has he got a chance? So draw two cards, then rekindling and synchro, uh, actually um, synchro shogun into from Zera to uh, banish my shooting star dragon. And then I got another rekindling to go into a black rose dragon to wipe the field and pop my drunk destroyer. But it's not enough, I mean, I've got the junk converter, the fact to add um, a quick draw synchron, then Mega Pistol Lion to summon the token, Junk Destroyer once again, and he's, he's, he alone is enough, but I can just go into a Necroid Synchron, summon a Stardust, Chronicles Pack Dragon, I even had the Battle Tuner, so look at this, overkill. Last but not least, Anime Duel Yusei against um, uh, Jack Atlas, but I was so excited with this, I hope to actually face the, the whole combo, I even hope he had the the star red nova dragon but he didn't so look how sad was his combo so he went with the demon's resonance to add the wandering wild widow course and look at this he's got the crimson he's got the wandering wild Wild. then he summoned uh, the red rising that um, recycled one of the tuners then crimson is an inter to summon another one gain life points and look at the play he just set a card and nothing i i went with tuning and uh boom then mecha phantom beast lion into the um uh, into the junk destroyer to pop the set card but it turns out that it's a solemn scoring so boom junk synchron with all the stuff now that the back row is gone and we can do whatever we want and we still got the Necroid Synchro, so look at this. Uh, of course, you know what is about to come. Um, I recycled the Lion, I decided to go into another Junk Destroyer to pop one of the monsters. 
then I can use my Necroid Synchro to go into the Stardust Dragon. Now I can use this skill to summon the uh, the Formula Synchron, and then Shooting Star Dragon. He's here to demolish my opponent. So, a fact I've got one and uh, one, one and only one. So that was all. I had my set card. I was chilling. Boom, getting rid of the monsters, and that's all. So, uh, Mystical Space Typhoon negated, but it turns out he has nothing else. That's how sad it was, unfortunately. He had nothing to, to you know, but I, I guess he could have been, he could have done something else. You know why? Because he could have just used the effect of Wandering King Wild Wii to add another monster and then use the skill to return one of the, um, of the spell cards to the... Uh, to the deck to add the other uh, to the to add the tuner basically so he could have done something but he decided not to and that was all my boys of course i had the words legacy clash but he couldn't know so guys that was all for the replays and the commentaries i hope you enjoyed all the explanation of course feel free to ask me whatever you want in the comment section down below thanks a lot for watching and as always see you in the next one mm -hmm.